Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Tomato in another round in another um, mission and this time we are going to go after a little Nurgle infestation a little bit above our um, power rating um, by 99 but anyhow we will do it last episode we have learned we can do it and we will try it out right now mission briefing heralding the manifestation of the arc enemy daimonic incan incantation it's choking the ether around the incident site filling the minds of the weak with moral excrement and madness orders confront and eliminate the threat objectives destroy several nurgle breeding sites that spawn cohorts of the plague lord destroy all nurgle nests Scanning of the area completed. Conclusion, the ruinous powers are active. The purge of the infestation is strongly recommended. Oh yeah, and if you haven't seen the last episode, we have new weaponry. We have actually found a nice autogun the last episode. Um, that is quite amazing because now we... I uh, Nothing against the last gun, of course, but um, what I absolutely enjoy about the... Um, Autogun is the little burst you do, and there you can go against up against plenty of enemies, and you know aim at the first one and aim at the second one, and it feels quite cool. Of course, the only downside I don't like it too too much against um, hot enemies, and the you can do a little auto um, not auto fire yes auto fire, but um, I randomly you don't hit the enemies you want that is the only thing I do not like and that's the little advantage I think you are having with the less gun and the hotshot which you know is one of my favorite spells in the game but here you can see what I enjoy about the auto gun as well is the damage it can do against champions and that is as you can see quite a lot really enjoy that Although the plague grid in here, you can see they, they brought us down with a couple of hits. That's the not so nice thing about those guys, but we coped with them quite good. Um, we haven't we haven't played a Nurgle infestation in quite a while, did we? Um, I think a couple of weeks since the last one, but finally we are back here with a little infestation ain't that nice so that's actually a nice spot to lay down some firing um, the plan was good I took down plenty of gobblers there as well I for second first, um, thought there would be a <laughs> a trap um, skull there but no so let's quickly I swap to the plasma gun. That is nice. Come on, at least one I want to take down. Um, I don't know why. Um, you know, at my um, I changed my mind there a little bit in the beginning of the game. You know, I absolutely hated. I hated less guns. By now, I enjoy them quite a bit. But I have to say, I don't know whether that changed, but. I think it's sad that nowadays, from my opinion, like plasma guns were absolutely amazing against um, armored guys, but I somehow nearly have the feeling um, that is is quicker to kill the enemies with the auto gun than with the plasma gun. This is just a feeling I have. I don't know whether I'm correct there, but you know. That's just it. Let's bring him down. Okay, I was hoping for at, for at least a little bit of a nice little item, but no. Okay, then the next um, Nurgle nest or puzzle of Nurgle is coming up. Okay, now it's going to be a hard battle. So let's put in couple of shots into her and I'll use the Cyclone Missile Launcher against her as well because we have it available then you should use it as well. I may need to use 
a inoculum? No, I don't need to. So getting out of there because the little cycle is of course going to explode. Alright, uh, here's another adversary. Okay, now I engage them. Let's go at them. I It wouldn't have been necessary, I think, to get down this route, but... Once you've gauged, then you do not have much of a choice, I guess. So do you know what? I will try to, first of all, take this guy down. And then maybe if we take him down, the summoned guys are going to just be... To just vanish. That's the plan there. Like so. And it doesn't matter, even if we have used a inoculator, um, we have a refill here. Um, honestly, it, it, it's always the thing, over time you change your mind, that's clear. Um, there was a time I absolutely disliked the digital weapons. I, you know, I just equipped the belt thingy there because it gave you, you know, plus health regeneration or whatever. And I didn't see the value of the plus... Um, Pretty good chance, but as you have s may have seen with the um, with us taking on the um, two reborn marauders, there it is. It can be absolutely insane. Um, the increase of the critical hit chance. Basically, you do you nearly crit with every hit there, and that is honestly quite nice. Getting out of the way, and now, oh, that's going to be quick, nice, quick work done there. Um, that's always the thing, since the um, beginning of the game, I think it was relatively early that Nico Games, of course, included the Nurgle infestation, as it was the, as it was the first, not the first game design, but um, very early from the game. That's what I wanted to say, is the Nurgle infestation in, and I really, really like it. That's actually funny, I still remember the first time um, I played this game, that was even off-air, um, that was a Saturday evening where I played this game the first time. And it is one and a half years ago, how time goes by, that is so insane. Okay. Down they are. Teleport beacon in range. We of course use the teleporter beacon and only one nest is remaining. And there you can see what I really enjoy um, are the I said that before. Um, the teleporter beacons have been included into the game very really late um, in either the la la late stages of the alpha version or with the final release. Um, I can't remember that. But such a nice little inclusion, I think. Um, so you do not have to run the race down all the way every time. Sadly, they are not included in every map. That is what I think is a little weird. But at least we have them in a couple of them in a couple of maps, which is quite nice. So. Attacking these guys. Okay, the Reborn Marauder wants to die first, then we shall do. I I always like to go against the Reborn um, Warlocks there at first because I have I don't know whether that's true. Of course, I don't have any empirical or empiric. Um, um, I, I I but I always have the feeling that the longer um, they are shooting at you with the little um, beam there, you, the more damage you receive, especially intense, that is, if you are engaged by multiple um, warlocks, that then is quite insane damage wise. The damage you receive is top notch, actually. Um, one guy remains, and on we go. I like, so we nearly are at the end here. And it's what I like, um, the little bursts, and then you can, during the bursts, uh, or the bullets are, so to say, flying to the enemies, you can 
engage a different target. That is quite nice. Reloading. Of course, what um, as much as I like the map design with the um, demon infestation or the Nurgle infestation here, what I don't like um, with the, of course, is not that many bullets are being, um, you know, are like cover in the way and you don't hit the enemy. That is what I don't quite like. And there you can see what I do not like about the plasma gun. It overheats too quickly, but, you know, that's just complaining on a high level. Warp-born pathogens and toxins. We also saved innumerable imperial citizens. Yep, I see that as well. So let us then take a quick look at the items we have received. That should be at least a couple, I hope. Um, I think we can use at least the signum there to good use. A beauty seal, nice, hopefully with health regeneration on it. So we have found a couple of items, that is quite nice. Um, first things first, neural implant, no health regeneration, but I put it down there just in case. Plus health regeneration, that's good, that's an upgrade, I'll take that, that was absolutely necessary. The main implant, no upgrade, the Signum 71 of course is a upgrade, so let's take a look at the lower 69 it was, wasn't it? Yes, so switching around here. Not much, but better than nothing. And that, guys, in the end, we had a small upgrade there. And we are already at the end of this episode. For now, as usual, guys, I really thank you for watching. If you actually have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.